Hey YouTube, let's do a shrimp update. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, this is Brian and I'm coming at you with a shrimp update for March 2018. Sorry it's been a while, but uh, just been busy. Wasn't able to get much out in February. But I thought I would just start and take you through all the tanks, um, let you know things are doing quite a bit better in most tanks, so that's good. Uh, right now we're looking at the mixed Taiwan B tank. Um, they're going nuts on some food right now, but as you can see there's a ton of babies in there, so that's a great sign. They seem to be breeding well, so I'm going to continue to uh, watch this and hopefully at some point now we'll have some Taiwan Bs available if anyone's looking for some, but not just as of yet. Um, quite a mixture in here. We've got the blue bolts, the red bolts, um, pandas, shadow pandas, uh, black king kongs. Um, yeah, so there's a bunch over here as well, kind of all over the tank. So it's been, been fun to watch. Up above here, we've got the uh, um, SCR Super Crystal Reds. They're doing good. Um, couple of babies here and there so that's always a good thing there's one but yeah overall this tank's been doing good I just uh, really hope that we can kickstart some breeding and get uh, get more babies on a regular basis I'm going to turn around and go over here now. I've moved a lot around in my fish room due to, uh, uh, I got a 300 gallon tank. Um, if you watch my fish room tour update, when that comes out for this month, you'll see all about that. But, um, so now this shrimp rack that was over kind of around this corner before now is over here. Um, these are just the A through S grade crystal reds. What more can I say about them? They're doing as good as always, breeding. Um, you know, people continue to ask for these all the time and I've been able to supply, so that's good. Uh, next door is the black pinto tank. Just kind of a mixed pinto, all the different patterns in here. Picked up some, uh, picked up some uh, recently uh, for this tank, um, added a few, not a ton, but just to add to the bloodline. But they had been doing a lot of breeding on their own, so that's good. Um, got some spotted heads, some kind of zebra, some just random, and a couple of Michelings in there. So we're going to continue to watch this and then start culling um, to increase the quality once we have the quantity going. Uh, next door here are the uh, S through SSS grade Crystal Reds. They're breeding like crazy as always. I've uh, been getting a lot of requests for these and been selling quite a few of these lately too, so that's good. Um, there's a few that are pure right in here that I'll call out and put over into my tank that I'm calling the white tank. These are my PRLs. Uh, they've been doing some breeding in the last couple of months too. I've got some juvies and some babies in here, so that's always a good sign. Um, just want to continue to try to grow this colony at this point, so we'll see how that goes. And we'll head over here. Here's that big 300 gallon tank I was telling you about, by the way, I'll just show you quickly. So this shrimp rack that I just got done showing you used to be right here. I moved 225 gallons that were there over to here. Got rid of 275s that were over here and moved this whole rack that used to be here over to here. If that makes any sense. Uh, this is all the same over here. So we'll just start on top here. Got the Blue Dreams. They're doing good. Um, pretty much sold out of them right now. I want to build this colony back up. I have sold quite a few recently but uh we need to build that back up um savage reds right here someone was someone tagged me in a post on facebook recently wondering if anybody had these and i, I do I haven't been in a position where i've been selling any yet uh, just because i want to breed this colony and then call out uh, anything that's not super high quality but i do have them and they're doing doing fairly well 
Um, another blue dream tank that I just kind of separated 10 and I wanted to start a second colony, but I'll probably pull these at some point. I got an idea on something I want to put in here. Uh, no need to have two blue dream tanks, but I had an empty tank and I thought let's just put something in there. Um, the uh, red pinto tank is doing about the same. Haven't been having any deaths, but um, I saw what appeared to be a buried female recently and I also, I don't know if I can even zoom in on it. There were, uh, there's been a couple babies crawling around back here. And I can see one right under that piece of moss. Ah, it's just not going to pick it up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. A couple of them, actually. So that's a good sign. I also added um, 10 more spotted heads with German lineage um, into this tank this week as well. They're pretty small. Most of them are still hiding just because it's a heavily covered tank and, and they're new. But uh, there's the tail of one of them on top of that filter there. I saw another one just a minute ago. But they're all spotted heads, so that'll be nice. Um, here is what I'm calling the white tank. Um, these are doing great, breeding like crazy. Nice big colony in there. Um, the red tank, mostly painted fire or fire reds. They're doing great also. I may be moving these guys up to my 90 gallon and maybe doing something different in this tank. I'm not quite sure yet. Crystal Blacks down below. Sorry for the algae on the glass, but they're doing real good too. And then finally the Thai Bees down here. Got a big massive colony of these, all different colors and patterns. I don't even know if you'd call them all Thai Bees or what, but they started, this colony started from putting a PRL and a Royal Blue Tiger in together and, and then I also, once they bred, I, I threw in a couple of uh, Aura Blues and a couple of Tangerine Tigers and basically now we've gotten all sorts of different things so anyway. I'm not going to show you the upstairs tanks today because there's not much going on there. I've got a blue bolt tank that I'm having a little bit of problems with. They're not eating lately and one died, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on there. And then my wine red tank, I actually added five rubies and five wines to it this week too, but they're all just kind of hiding because they're new, so you're not going to see much. I'll show that next time. But until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to get uh, regular updates on all my shrimp tanks, my cichlid tanks, and my fresh or saltwater tanks. Um, and I appreciate everybody that does tune in and watch. And any questions, let me know. Or if you're interested in any shrimp that I mentioned that I had extras for sale, my email will be in this uh, comments or the not the, the description section below. You can hit me up by email. Thanks. Bye.